So Servers are just a mess today. <laughs> Gorillas are at the uh, staging point waiting for your command. It's been a crazy network day. I am going to adjust my frames as best I can here. Twos, this is fucking um, three actual. Uh, you're gonna have to stay, wait by for like 20 um, minutes or so for us to get on track, because what are you gonna? You're not going to have room for everybody to get hey, there, so no. Are we actually going to walk there? Yeah, we're, we're supposed to walk, apparently. Threes, uh, we're going to have to hoover on for we don't get Vix on this one, so try and keep it wide. That's fine. Vix for you. Expect there to be overwatch points on overpasses and that kind of crap, so just a heads up. Two actuals, have you guys uh, encountered any signs of patrols or anything like that on your ingress route? Uh, negative. We did not have see any patrols on our route. Hey, firm. Um, God, these ben, guys are Outcast, wide. you guys both brief all the teams, right? What you doing? Ready. Yeah, I briefed my team. We're assaulting the checkpoint. We're just gonna basically make that checkpoint blow up. Threes, this is high. Put two vans on the MSR to your left. Just get it done. I'm just so thanks. Ben, Outcast, you heard it. They've already done the yep. best timing. Uh, my team will take the first van. By letting the gorillas go out, because uh, what it's supposed to be is while they're right. walking, these right. guys go and start the op, but, but if they're gonna... Drop us off, then you'll take I've got timer set, yourself. so whatever happens, happens. It's gonna take me 10 minutes to mobilize QRF from a uh, airport. Where am I dropping your team off at? But if um, if they see gunfire down there, they're gonna radio to me, and then I'll you know push them to there, and I'll mobilize yeah, second QRF very that. quickly. So we'll see how things go. Anyway, uh, to define the op guys, blue four are NATO special forces. Green four are guerrilla forces associated with NATO, and. They are basically okay, trying to complete off. one objective. Blue Four is trying to steal this Vic, that Vic, and that Vic, and bring them to any of the Green Four positions where they can stash them in a barn or a building or whatever, and that is mission success. Green Four are doing whatever Blue Four tell them to do because they are QRF. We still have people jumping in, but we're... I announced that we're doing the mission a little early because how the uh, other mission fell through. So it looks like there's a vehicle driving back to pick up some of these guys. Yep. I mean, if Blue 4 attacks first, I'm going to send the QRF there first. Because <laughs> this is an objective that Blue 4... It looks big, but... The actuality of where the AO is, is there's not that much that they have to worry about. The issue, though, is the frames. Three actual, to, uh, all the three call signs, uh, the fucking eyes are gonna go uh, get some. Two actual, this is three actual. Uh, send it. We're gonna be on station within about five mics, hold fast. A hey, firm. So we have a team that's deployed down here. They're getting up up here, uh, they're getting up here to basically get some elevation. Where the hell am I? Down to 15. Ben, you're on station. Let me know when you guys are about 500 out from your area. We're gonna try and get eyes on and we're gonna try and mark up as best as we can. I know those can cause a few things in frames, but... Hey, Ben. Yeah, I'll cast the same, please. Copy, we'll report when 500 This is really out. just right, map lag more than anything. Uh, 
uh, outcast team is 500 away from the checkpoint. Dave them hold fast. You gotta love Andrew's Andrew's internet connection, man. That's the best. It's just crazy. Everyone else is fine. Is PB success done? Uh, yes, yes, I'm done with PB success. I was thinking I'd have another mission, but for what I want to do with it, it's going to be, like, nigh impossible to get that done. Is this Requiem? Requiem of what? If you mean the music, no. The music is Skyrim music, because it's soothing. It helps keep me calm when everything is getting oofed to high hell. How'd I end up up there? Hey, be quick about it. Tell me when you want to TP and I'll just TP you up to the front line. Because I don't think anyone's coming back because there's no... I don't think there's going to be reinserts. Alright. But you might want to be quick about it, because I think they're going to have things start off. I'll just load this one. Outcast. Send traffic. Yeah, I guess... I'm glad that you brought all that AT, because I'm looking at the three BMPs uh, right next to the objective, Vix. Say that again, sorry. I'm seeing three BMP2s next to the objective, Vix. I'm going to have Solid a marker copy. down for him. Laser, do you want to be TP'd? Gaz, Gaz is exiting the checkpoint heading northeast. Uh, when I'm done, please, because I just stand in and I'd like yep. to give it to me Mac, you good? Um, do we need the one for eight or the one for It is one, now two, moving eight, northwest. I, I don't know. That was up to them to set up. I went to a corner. Okay, um... I think it was a gem for green four, but I could be wrong. Laser, do you need a TP? Okay, I'm gonna take both. Ready. Okay. Ben. Yes. I've not got eyes on anything in that pod, mate. I'm blind on that side. Okay, I'm ready as well. Who's me? Safe. I'm blind. <laughs> there he go. Lots of BMPs and shit like that. Yep. Can't see anything over there. Two's this is three. Signature timeout immediately. I love it. Two's this is three actual. Send it. When you feel that you're in a position of strength, begin on your assault. I need you to hold on. For All right, guys, we gotta wrap it up like one minute because they're about to assault. When it starts, I gotta focus on the objectives instead of TPing people. So you got like 30 minutes, or excuse me, 30 seconds. Uh, I mean, so we're on server 2 right now. It's been more stable, so I think my server is just oof to high L, but... Automatic to outcast, please. Automatic to outcast. outcast. Marked two times locations of objective base, no eyes on third. Uh, automatic, you might want to go prone for this one. So copy. Make sure you're prone.
Look at these chads. I give them a full arsenal, tell them to be gorillas. And they, they just, what is this? This is just a group of something. Like, everyone went on vacation and went, Hey guys, what if we got the true chad experience and decided to join a rebellion? That's what I'm looking at. Just a bunch of... Th this is what the U.S. Sorry, uh, rebellion is going to look like Finn, when everyone finally gets end? fed up with the two-party system. <laughs> Something stupid like that. Andrew's a now or never. Andrew's a... Hey, Finn, we're just moving in a pause. Andrew's a... Come on, Andrews, I push that hamster just a little more to give you a few packets, buddy. Come on. You can do it. Sorry, send oh, that no. again. Lots of hands. Lots of communication going on over here. I may have to shuffle my guys around towards your side. We've got what do you want, Andrews? So we're going to have to help you guys out. Okay, go prone because he's next to bad people. We believe that this gas over here is part of the patrol that goes inside the compound. Two watch well, this is threes. All right, laser, load that kit. You're desyncing all over the place, but no one else is. Two watch well, this is three. Yep, just you, buddy. Uh, yes, send it. Have you guys begun? Uh, not currently. We're still moving up to I'm get eyes on the checkpoint from our initial stage. Yeah, if you're if you're getting, you're getting screwed, Matt, like we can try it again, just, uh, sure, but it's up to you. Hey, bro. Just try it. Worst comes to worst, you just get kicked out when I teleport you because your internet's. Do you what's eating up my process? Well, no, we need to teleport you now because they're about to start the attack and I'll have to, like, teleport out of here. So you have, like, literally 10 seconds. Shit, my frames are two. I might not make it in time. You have 10 seconds. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Nine. See, your internet's desyncing so bad that it's screwing with the laws of time on my server. Ten. Eight. Seven. 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 Are you ready for TP? Almost. I just need to grab my radio. Seven. 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 Eight. Jesus four. Three. three. You ready? Yep. Okay. Jesus, Watch this, it's still gonna kick you off. Anyway, bye! I think you can begin now, mate. Alright. He <laughs> just turns around like, what? I'm waiting to see the signature timeout. Powercast, keep eyes on that BTR right here. That'll be on your left flank when you hit the checkpoint. <laughs> Copy. Finn. Yeah. You hear that? Take out the BRDM first, because the BM21s will be there at a minimum engagement distance. Taking out the BRDM first because of their fucking. Yep. Yeah, okay. I'll let you know when to uh, execute. Two, so you guys are sorting yet? Just about. I need to start kicking up a real force. Yes, that he he had a scar with a uh, American flag painted on it. That's part of RHS. Just some really well armed insurgents, I guess. But whatever. I knew they were gonna meme it. But again, trying to let them have fun. Then. If you want to start shooting now, go ahead. We're just going to go straight in there and just shoot him. Okay. Probably got to die though, so... Um. Yeah. Seeing a ZSU-23 and a fucking BTR-AC on that uh, left side. On the, um, engage, the engage. Of compound. SPG, everyone engage. Yes, we have All BTI. Right. 10 minutes. Shitty guy is here. Engaging. Sorry, that wrong net. Right, so then. You want to take it? 
Need you to say engage. So, are you able to take it if needed? Let me check. Mirror yeah. one, mirror one, we have the time if you want to switch to long range to me, go ahead. So, yes, no. I have a van coming up. If they begin shooting, I need to listen here because if I get two orders, I can go, okay, Guys, you cure FT1 to go We're here, cure FT2 orders. to go there. If um, I'm letting twos get a little bit of uh, aggro their way, then I'll start sending us in. So I got a little hill right there. I'm going to be deleting bodies as they come. Yeah, we are able to kill the fucking the hard targets. It's just very framey because this map is very framey. Gonna go get that MI-28 armed. So they took out that tower. Alright, all three teams quit engagement. And they cleared the threes a minute after. Are we engaging? Yes. Outcast team is engaged. That stuff down there. This is rough, but we got an MI 24 lifting up to the north. As Araya came down here, he got shot. This is uh, Danny's team. We need a T shifting west. Is BTR ADA at that cord bunker mark, and we can't knock it out. Stop talking. T3 pushing in. This is T2 to T3. Go for T3. Uh, I hind just went by us, heading south, possibly to your direction. A firm. We'll expect it. How goes your attack? Team is a BTR-80 out, or Finn is a BTR-80 A south of the FOB. This hunt is still active, we have nothing to kill. Still able to kill stuff, thankfully, so. It's not super duper bad. That hind is now playing chicken with them. I'll send reinforcements. I'm gonna send QRF Check to both locations. Pass it on. Outcast fan, how are you guys doing? We're doing well. We're just waiting on one straggler right now. Pass it on. We hey, have from, we got as is down and there's a BTR ADA that's keeping us from pushing. Okay, I'm one, two, one. Off to checkpoint, we've taken, uh, we got contacts to one north, by 
the way. Just another way to the checkpoint. Uh, T233, we have cleared the first checkpoint. How they got the Vic stuck and they just took a rocket? Uh oh. Jesus. So they got that one stuck. There was a rage quit disconnect there. They just destroyed our van, I think. Either that or the SPG. Send T3s to T2s. Send it. Uh, how long ago did that MI24 take off? Because we still haven't seen it yet, so it might be circling back. Yeah, it's circling us right now. Sorry, it's not going back in. We're taking heavy Anchor. contact. I don't think we're going to be able to deal with this. We're going to have to leave. ADA is down. There's another ADA on the west that's still active. We have to completely pull back and Az is still stuck back there. Solid He's copy the advised we're dealing with the uh, Dishka cord over by the uh, BTR ADA we just took out on the east. Uh, this T2 to uh, the other T2 squad we're pulling back and then re-engaging from a different location. Confirm 2 you're pulling back and re-engaging. We're behind. We have nothing to kill okay. with. I think we're just gonna leave. I did say to the threes, you can tell the gorillas to take whatever they want. If that wasn't translated, oh well. So I'm gonna respawn the Vix in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we lost the SPG techie. Hey, that's an A-frame. We did lose the SPG techie. How are you going? Uh, we are fucked. Mirror died and Nemesis is down. Anybody yeah. guys by that? So only three effective and we are pinned down. Hey, I don't think any of our guys got hit by it. We're moving northwest. I still have some time before I bring out my QRS. Well, at least one country from the SPG, the other one disconnected. Outcast, you guys, have you guys marked your paws? Uh, we have CTAP up right now. We're currently on the north side of the actual racetrack right now, pushing towards the uh, BTR that's been pinning the rest of the teams right down. On. Hey, Firm, we are um, just across the roadway to Southview. We'll try to regroup with you. <laughs> he got, ran and got in the you turret. Have shots. We got guys directly to our southeast inside the bowl and uh, pushing up towards us. We need uh, support on them with long range rifles if you got them. I'll play if you reach, just run, get out of here. Be careful, PTR is towards you. I think it's the one to the west. Copy, did you say it's coming towards us from the road? We dropped a fab on him. Hey, ruling. Ah, good call right there. Blowing that up. Oh god, and now that's gonna fire back. Karn just got annihilated. There's still one more BTR interior of the racetrack itself, the far west side. And you're seeing some disconnects from people There's that have died. That so I'm just gonna send a ratio of one to one here. So the threes, basically what they did was they completely spread their forces out, encircled this objective, uh, and then, two new across the racetrack, like, you know, the divided their forces and got screwed on all sides. What they should have done is they should have started with the checkpoint, moved in, Sorry, and engaged things one at a time with their full we force. Can, it would have been a lot better the for them. 
So once again, they did a force split, and it's... Okay, I need to know this exact position of the BTR, because apparently there's it's like four of them. It's marked on map really southeast, them up. Uh, next to the cord bunker mark. They're... Sorry, southwest side oh, of the place. So it's been 10 minutes, I'm gonna send my QRF. So the one that I've been talking Five. about the entire time. Would you like me to change its color? It might make it appear better, like... Yeah, please do. Hey, bro. It is now red. On map. Yeah, that's the one I've been talking about, but apparently we're all talking about different ones. Hey, for Well, there's still another one down there, so. So I'm gonna have these squads deploy. Disregard blue and red smoke. So they have some guys that have completely pulled back on a Ural. We've got others that are still Top attacking. You guys good? I'm gonna have that thing pull further back into the base. Again, my attention is really sticking with the gorillas because this is a more important objective. But I am going to get a pilot now. I'm trying to delete everything that's unnecessary. Gonna go get him in a frog foot. These guys got blown up by the uh, MI-24. I mean, I do have AA right here if they want to use that to take him out. flying northwest. We're engaging. Did they just... Did that just go into the ground? Okay. Nope, they got it. Okay, cool. So they got that one that was being reinforcements, uh, providing QRF up to the airfield. And there's still that BTR-88 shooting at him. These guys are moving to these vehicles down here. Now all the ammo is actually out of these VIX. They're meant to do R&R &R right there. And you have these guys getting shot by that 80 Alpha. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Yep. Be advised recruiting a tank. T-80 tank to take out this BTR. Get Apparently there's up. no ammo. Well, if you're able to ram or... Well, I wouldn't recommend ramming, but somehow kill that yeah, BTR. Don't use, don't use the objective vehicle to take out the BTR. Yep, so BTR-80 Alpha is firing at some of these Vicks that are, they're trying to pull out quickly. She's taking some damage. And then we still have, you know, this large group back at, uh, base here. Oh, no. Another few minutes, I'll be signing up some more QRF. That pilot still hasn't made it. Pin, how are you guys getting on? It's because he's stuck in that building. Uh, Pin, he was in the racetrack now. He's over there, so I'm gonna boop him BTR up. BTR 80A is uh, destroyed. We are rearming all of these vehicles at a rearm point. Threes to twos. Threes to twos. are you still good? So, MI 24 is driven back. Something just blew up right there. 
They've taken the um, the BMP2 and are using its auto cannon. That's very smart. We still have this Vic right here. They should use that to essentially shoot down this helicopter. Nice. Be advised, we have all the objectives. We are going to load up, rearm, and get the heck out. Right. Can we tag a ride? That big, There's so ZSU in the airfield. An actual ZSU Shilka or a fucking static? I uh, don't buy that now. Hey, uh, Alcast, are you guys me. taking that MRAP 1 2? We're taking all of the CSAT vehicles. Okay, we don't need to rearm it, we just need to get the fuck out of here now. We believe it's an actual ZSU. Thing spike right there. All right, convoy spacing at minimum 20 meters. There's one friendly. Yeah, I have an audio glitch from deleting that MIA. There's two friendly gases. T140, hold. Let the gas take lead. Yeah, shook is down. Be advised, the reason why we were rearming is so we can defend ourselves as we leave. Yeah, no, you're, that's great. I, I, I picked up on that. Be advised, convoy yeah, is stepping off heading towards checkpoint. Remember, we need to scatter the vehicles at different, uh, green points, so it'd probably be best not to take them all to the same one. So I kind of suggest you take the tank to the one we started from, and then the other RPs are marked on map. So I'll come. Fix, don't stop. Drive. Right. Tank, head to RP Bravo. Uh, the... The fucking... CSAT MRAP, go to RP Alpha. The last dude, head to RP Charlie. We have I to scatter. This is a little late for you to be saying this now. I've already told my guys where they're going. Okay. As long as you guys scatter, that's all that really fucking matters. T3 trying to check it again. Does anyone read? Say again? I'm trying to read the D2s. Any T2s that read on the snap? Uh, just T2s right. then. We are pulling out now. Keep them engaging for a minute and then uh, pull back. Thank you. They shouldn't be. Oh, they're all following you. I'm turning around and going back Wait. where we came from. Wait one. We'll see if he tries to take off. Okay, we just can get the gate has We'll try to draw fire. All right, let's make this a little tense. Uh, empty, empty, apply. Artillery now launching. Now <laughs> they blow up the bear. <laughs> two tiers, we have cleared the encampment. Try to pull back from the engagement area and make the way back to HQ. Uh, 
pines in the air coming from the south. Pines are about to cross the stairway from the south and the northwest. T2s, you're going to want to be pulling out of there now. We are currently pulling out right now. Yeah, so I'm going to have one double back, and I'm going to have these kind of... See that? We're getting out of there. Contract up. Meanwhile, you have some of these guys pulling out. Looks like they're able to get all their medics set. And I think these guys just fired mortars up there. Two of the Vicks have arrived at that point. I'm currently in the final Vic that is going to be arriving at the final mic approximately uh, three mics. I just saw a guys cross the freeway bridge. There are that's us. We are about 100 meters behind do you. Do I have another airport? I do. No, 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 no. I want one of these bad boys. Because now we're going to play Queenie House. Yeah, everyone's um, T2s are all pulling back right now. Actually, pulled up. We'll. Whatever that. Give them a bit of a chance. But they need to go. Be advised, all three objective vehicles are secure. Here. 
Well, that happened. Mod gave as a sub. Nice. Hope everyone had their motor burner satisfied with that, because... The Russians, I guess, just finally had enough. Hot damn. Hot command, this is Threes. How copy? This is high send traffic. Uh, what are the further orders for, for Threes? All three objective vehicles have been secured. Roger. Uh, your objective's done. Green Force trying to pull out, but they were a bit late, and I think they're getting eaten up by MI 24s. Solid copy. So you don't have any further Seven objectives eight, for Threes? Negative. Six. You can uh, disconnect. We'll get, I have we'll be indexed three momentarily. Ups longer than I have subbed. Keep the operations operating, Liru, while the goat people in chat ask for people. No offense. <laughs> Right, oh him and kill. Thanks for the six month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the ops, my friend, and I hope you're getting a kick out of this. So yeah, some of the helicopters are um, waving off, but you still have these twenty. Uh, that's a twenty four. And you still have this twenty eight. I think this is one of the 28s. Yeah, so one of the 28s waved off. Some of them are literally running back into the air. <laughs> they need to get in a building and hide. Nope, 28 decided to wave off. I'm gonna have him wave off as well, because there's nothing he can... He doesn't have any gun pod to engage him, unless he does a rocket strike, but... I think we've beaten these guys up for the most part. All right, so I based index off of uh, when the MI-28s would wave off of the guerrilla forces, and both did, and the only thing that was still circling was a 24, so I just told that to wave off because it didn't have any rockets left since it used them in most of the runs. Uh, overall, um, first off, I, I meant for that to be, you know, guerrillas started off so that QRF goes to them first. That way, you know, then the second attack starts, but my priority is obviously an airfield or something. Uh, both attacks started within a minute of each other, so I just sent QRF to both places at the same time. Still, um, Blue Four Forces, they divided into multiple small groups and decided to hit every area of that objective. I think that was a bit of a mistake, because I had fortifications on every angle. Uh, in the terms of auto cannons and defensive emplacements. Uh, but you guys had the manpower to split your force, because I think this has been, I think, the op with the most tier 3 and above attendance I've seen in quite a while. So it worked for you in this case, because you had the numbers for it. Um, gorillas, they made their foothold. Uh, I messed them up a little bit. Um, 
I was hoping they were told to bring AA, and apparently they didn't, so they, they had fun improvising. Half of them fell back, the other half kept going, and uh, still it kept the momentum going on that uh, side attack for me to send more of my stuff to the airfield than, you know, the vehicle depot. So it still worked out at the end of the day. Um, threes completed their objective. I tried to spook them with some MI-24s flying overhead. None of them caught aggro. And then a few minutes later, the MI-28 showed up. This was within 25 to 30 minutes after, you know, first contact. So it felt realistic for me in terms of QRF. And yeah, um, a lot of gorillas got wiped because they were very slow to pull out because, um, again, threes had already pulled out. They already were docked and they were just chilling at base. So I just, you know, brought more stuff. But anyway, um, Holy Light asking why would the gorillas have AA? Well, I mean, the CIA have provided stainers to a lot of different factions in the past, such as the Mujahideen and others, so I was going for something there as well. But again, the threes decided what you guys got. So I'm, I was kind of surprised that the threes didn't... I, I, I don't know about that communication because I wasn't there, but... When that list was compiled, we didn't know the ins and outs fully as to what the objective or the lay of the land That's were. That's fair. Um, that list, where it was complete, it wasn't exhaustive. Um, there should have been a little bit of foresight in some questioning about the equipment that you had. If you're going to an airfield, why wouldn't you take AA um, in case anything does get off the tarmac or the runway or whatever? That's fair. I mean, it's just, you know, like, I, I told the threes they're allowed to tell you guys the gorillas what they can bring and I didn't like I just said do gorilla but you know in my mind gorillas they have been given you know AA in the past so I guess I should make that more clear but um e even so I did have um someone shot a BMB uh, BMP2 forced it to dismount and then used its auto cannon to kill aircraft uh there were two igla chairs in the second compound you guys assaulted that you could have utilized as well um, and even then, people were doing a really good job of RPGing uh, vehicles um, that were about to take off. So I had um, a Black Shark about to take off. You guys AT'd that. I had an MI-28 I had a pair of pilots running to, and you guys took that out. So even so, you guys did a very good job hitting my assets as I was trying to get them up in the air. So, very well done nonetheless. Uh, and then threes, you uh, got fucked in the beginning, you bounced back, you took the stuff, and you ran. I had a little curveball there, because I had those vehicles, uh, none of them had ammo, but I had a little ammo position at the little service marker, and you guys found that, rearmed everything, and then pulled out. Um, it's because I was, um, you know, I thought, why would they have the ammo stored in the VIX? Because they weren't meant to be combat ready, it was meant for more like long-term storage, but, you know, just me doing research, and I read that they don't have them loaded with stuff when they're in storage so whatever trying to give you a curveball you worked with it objective was still done um a third of the gorilla force survived so all good hope you guys had fun uh the mortar barrage was really good you guys hit one of the bear actually you hit the bear at that air base and like blew up a third of it by proxy when it cooked off so all good um and then I know Yanni got mortared at the end because he went uphill next to a fob that had two mortars on it. So I think they just dunked his butt. So shit happens. Uh, threes, debrief, go ahead. So for me, I took lead of this situation because um, it's been evident to me as of late that I am taking a lot more leadership roles than what I'm meant to be doing. I do have this expectation of people within three, within four if needed. Um, take the responsibility and step up, but that wasn't happening today and that needs to be addressed. Um, I'll put a pace bin for further debrief on that topic in the tier three chat so they can read at their leisure. Um, the plan that I made for the tier twos was a pretty solid one in terms of hitting one end of the runway and sticking on that one end because you're closest to the cross section. Um, meaning that you can actually engage both of the uh, runways if anything tried taking off, that you didn't have a blind spot. And you guys did phenomenally in making sure that barely anything left. Um, pulling out wise, um, after I died, I was watching the stream. You guys could have been a little bit faster in pulling out. Uh, about 20 minutes before, uh, about 20 minutes 
earlier than what you did. Um, we called that all three objective bits part of the AO. As soon as uh, as soon as we say all three are out, we don't even have to say they're secured. We can just say, yeah, we're in transit to get these to like the hidey holes. You should be there and say, okay, pull back, mount up, we're going. Um, one thing that the community kind of needs to improve on entirely, really, is snatch and grabs. Um, knowing when to disengage from a contact. Um, it's not a case, it's like in an exam when you're writing your answer and they say, okay, pens down, they don't let you finish your answer. Uh, very similar to how you would finish your firefight, they say, okay, stop what you're doing, do this now. And that's what the community needs to get a little bit better, in my personal opinion. For the free side of it, uh, the plan that I made wasn't the best. In hindsight, reflecting on it, I really split us up, which is something that I've been screaming from the top of my lungs as to um, not do, uh, but I did it anyway this time, and this one blew up in my face. So for the shortcomings on that one, I'll take responsibility. I shouldn't have put us in that position to begin with. Ultimately, uh, so ultimately can... you guys were able to complete the objective. Unfortunately, I died early on, so I don't know what it happened or what was entailing of it. But to get through my blunders, you guys have done well to get shit done, so be proud of that. One thing real quick um, to the threes, this was one of my two ideas I had for having you guys work with a larger force, you know, be part of a larger scenario. So if you liked it, feel free to let me know in tier three chat. Uh, if not, we can do the other idea next week where I just have AI instead and you're just, you know, a small detachment in there. But, you know, this is your slot. So let me know what, you know, you guys want to play with it. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. anyone else in tier three want to speak on their role? Yeah, I just want to step up uh, yeah, go ahead. a little bit. Um, I'm going to say, I think the force wasn't too bad. I think it could have worked. The issue was, I was the one that had the original idea for splitting having an Overwatch team. I didn't realize how high the trees were on that map. My bad, my positions weren't nearly as good. Um, but I think it could have still worked. The main issue was we just weren't prepared in our team. We didn't have no AA and that removed any flexibility we could have had. Me or we didn't have AT. Because if we had AT, we could have easily pushed up the track, killed that one BTR, and then very easily regrouped with the other team, instead of having to spend the op kind of circling around. Yeah, we kitted up. Good. Sorry, we kitted up for a big garrison in that depot, but um, yeah, we should have prepared more for taking care of armor and VIX. I would also like to say Otherwise, something when you're done. Yeah, I was going to say that the beginning was definitely rough. I think um, a bit of communication fell through after as I know people on my team we were a little slow to pick back up at least I was um, but one as it went so on. I will say I know my, my server is fucked so. and I think the extract was altogether pretty clean at least we got all the vehicles out that's all I have um, so I came in late due to IRL things, and I didn't actually get any of the brief at all, and what portions of the brief I did get was a quick little rundown of what was going on. I was never told that it was a vehicle depot, I was just told that we were supposed to go and grab the, uh, the vehicles and get out. Um, had I known it was a vehicle depot, no, Skelly's right, I mean, we we would not have even bothered to think about dropping the uh, the AT. We never did, but, I mean, that just comes down to don't put someone in a leadership role if they've not even gotten the brief of what's going on. Um, I guess it worked out, I guess. Uh, again, it could, could have been smoother. Um, and then the biggest thing I saw was the fact that we'd constantly try to communicate, oh, well, there's a BTR-80 shredding so-and-so. But, like, we were always talking about different BTRs every single time. So, I'm not entirely sure what to do about that one. But, uh, it's a little difficult to go support a team when you're engaging a BTR that you think is the right BTR, but it turns out that's not the BTR. So, that's all for me, unless someone else has got anything. I think you did a good job, Outcast. And I yeah. never if those BTRs had moved, we would have died. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I think that the big issues here are hindsight issues, and hindsight issues is hindsight. Like, if we had known that there was an airfield involved, obviously, it would have given the guerrilla forces uh, stingers. Uh, was not that was, we didn't have that when we made the loadouts for them, so we didn't bother giving that to them. Uh, so you know, with hindsight, if we'd known there'd be more vehicles, we'd taken more AT. But that's just hindsight, and hindsight is never be just level of, of hindsight. We didn't have all the intel when we made certain things, or the and then we just stuck with the plan. And the uh, important thing to notice that the objective was completed with minimal casualties for the T3s, and the T2 suffered a lot, but they were you know very under-equipped for what they're meant to be doing. Yeah, I mean, there were a couple of points of time where someone says, hey, we need to go help out this team. But, I mean, the objective was right there. and It was one of those situations of we can complete the objective or we can go help out this team. So... Let me guess, I had fun uh, for the brief period as an op. Uh, hopefully, server issues won't be an issue next week. Uh, yeah, because I'll keep using server 2. I already shot on to a message to write to Havoc to say, hey, can you please cycle out my server like last time? And hopefully, we'll get everything unfucked. But for now, I can just use server 2 and we should be okay. What's up, what's up with your server? It's Havoc's fucking intense. Up. The, yeah, the units are desyncing like crazy, and it did that on Friday, and it did it yes. today. So they're teleporting in it's, front of um, people. It's not a server you... desync issue; it's just a general bandwidth issue that's been happening for a few days now. Yeah. So it's it's weird. Havoc's um, the the training close. server is a Havoc server too, right? Yep, every server we use is, the three servers we use are Havoc, and this one worked fine, and it's also a Havoc, so I think it's just that one server being weird. Hmm. I mean, I can't say for the, the, when we did training server one, we didn't have any units down, we just had assets down, but there was no, like, issues. Then we dropped a nuke, so there's no issues after a nuke got dropped, I don't think anything caused issues. Grab you one sec. Anyway, uh, I'm only going to have the threes debrief for this video because, um, you know, it's it's their op. Um, twos, they got slaughtered. But like I said, that's I, I knew that going in that that was probably going to happen. It's horrible for me to do that, but this is the three slot, and it's, it's focused on that. But nonetheless, I hope they still had fun um, just watching the chopper come in and mow them down. You can play some... Uh, Whatchamacallit, emotional music, and then, you know, just Michael Bayard or something. I don't know. We'll make it work. Anyway, rest in peace, all the Tier 2s. Tier 3s did a great job. Thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. We'll be back tomorrow at 5 for some French Resistance open world shenanigans. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Go operate operationally. Stay healthy, and uh, I hope you keep enjoying the content. Have fun, guys.